guys and welcome back to our channel in this week's video we're gonna be doing a part two of something that y'all seem to really enjoy we did recently a making my hubby's request and y'all all seem to really like it so we're gonna be doing another one part two i told him to be looking at recipes that i have not made before and he said something mexican if it's not mexican i'll be a little surprised let's see what he wants to eat bro <laughs> If they're faking themselves. <laughs> Fake. <laughs> Fake. Have you picked out your recipe? I did. Can I see it? Pick out a few. What? Because I didn't know if you'd done this yet. Okay. What is this? It doesn't look like yours, but. Thai beef salad. You said Mexican. Yeah, looks like. Thai beef salad too. Baby, I make beef salad all the time. Now you can do it for a video. Okay, how about something else? What else did you have? Gosh. You asked me what I wanted and that's what I want. <laughs> you said Mexican. Pho? Is that pho? Do you know how long pho takes? Oh <laughs> Baby, I've made that before. Oh my gosh. Did you, do you want me? Why are you picking recipes I've made? I want something to eat. That's what I want. <laughs> I said, what you gonna make? I haven't had these in years. So let's see if you're up to the challenge of doing something that's not in your blood. Bombazov. I just like burgers. Don't ever. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> say that again in your life. Well, that's what they look like. It's like a torta. But the bun is like, you dip it in... A certain type. You you look it up and you do it, and I'll let you know if you did it right. If you didn't do it right, then you're making me beef salad. What? Jose just sent me the recipe, so I'm gonna write down all the ingredients for bombazos. Did I say it right? Okay, I've never had this, so this is gonna be interesting. All right, first things first, we need potatoes. We need three guajillo peppers, and I believe I have those. And then we need two chorizos, which will do beef or vegetarian beef. And we need black peppercorns, which I actually need those anyway. So oregano, we have it. And we need six teleras. Tele How do you say that? Or kaiser rolls. We need lettuce, crumble cheese, so crema, and salt. We have that. Okay, not a lot of ingredients, so sh we shouldn't be taking long at the store. Total cook time is only 45 minutes total. So we'll see if it takes that long. We got everything. Let's go. I decided to come to the commissary because going to Walmart or Publix is far. So I'm gonna try to see if they have everything here. I'm also filming on my phone because I don't like bringing a big old camera around in front of everybody. Yeah, let's go check out the commissary and see if they have everything we need. Fingers crossed, they do. But I was getting no. Alright, I'm back home. Thankfully, the commissary had everything I needed. Wish me luck. I don't even know what these look like. I just had him send me the recipe. I've never heard of these in my life. Let's see how this goes. Alright, first things first is two and a half cups of diced potatoes. I have the water boiling now, so I gotta wash and cut these up. I'm not too sure about how much two and a half cups is, so I'm going to place it in a measuring cup and measure as we go. I think one more will do. That's three potatoes, so I guess four is plenty. That's good. Save this little baby for later. So now I just gotta add this to the boiling water. It's on medium high heat. Because they took the kids upstairs so I can film. But I wanted to add that this recipe that we're following, which I will have down in the description below, is specifically for six servings. So I'm just gonna make just a tad bit extra in the recipe. So instead of two and a half cups, I did three, just in case. In case they are a hit and everybody loves these, we will have plenty left over. So I'm gonna throw this on the medium high heat and boiling water, 10 to 12 minutes is how long it should take to cook these babies. Doing 12, just in case. All right, next thing is the guajillo 
peppers. We're gonna de-seed and take the veins out of these. It calls for three, but I'm gonna do four. And we're supposed to just put this in a hot bowl of water while the potatoes cook, just to soften them. This is a brand new bag. These are actually pretty big, a small one. There's my four. They smell like raisins. So now I just have to rinse these off, de-seed and de-vein. I don't have gloves, to be honest. I don't ever use gloves when I'm doing these. Just be careful. If you have gloves, use them. Okay, these are de-seeded the best I could and de-veined, so I'm just gonna put it in this hot water right here. I can put this in there just to kind of hold them down. There we go. There's a few seeds still in there. Okay, next is the chorizo. Like I said, I got beef. We're supposed to cook this on a medium-high heat. By the time this is done cooking, the potatoes should be done. I said this takes about eight minutes, but I'm looking at six minutes on my timer. So hopefully these are done in time. I just warmed this up. Okay, the chorizo has about six or five or six more minutes left to cook. These will be done here in a matter of seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain these potatoes and set them to the side. Once this chorizo is done, I'll add the potatoes to the chorizo and mix it. And then we just set this to the side. Fairly easy. Uh, this process is almost done. While this is still on a medium heat, we're supposed to dump the potatoes in and cook for another three minutes. So I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes. All right, this is what it's looking like. Now we just have to set it to the side for right now until we need it again. All right, we've moved on to the blender. It's wet because I had to wash it. So first we're gonna add our guajillo chilies that we have been soaking. One cup of the soaking water. I'm gonna do just a dash more. One garlic clove, these are pre-peeled, so don't judge me, okay? One and one for good luck. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of oregano. And eight whole peppercorns. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and then we give it a blend. Now we just have to strain it and put it in a bowl. All right, sauce is off to the side. The stuffing is ready. The only thing that's left is to grill the bread and put it together. But before I do that, I actually wanna make the kids some fries for the side. So I'm gonna throw some fries in the air fryer and I'm gonna make a homemade guac. It's not a recipe, like a specific recipe. I just kinda of throw it all together when I make my guac with whatever we got. Yeah, after that, we can put them together. Plus, Jose showering, so it's like perfect timing. I just remembered we don't have jalapenos. So this guac is gonna have no spice to it. I have pickled jalapenos, but it's okay because the kids like to eat it anyway. So sometimes it's a little too spicy. So this is gonna be a spiceless guac. Okay, it's gonna be a little loud because we have the air fryer on, but this is the last step to the recipe. So I've already heated my griddle. It was um, heating the whole time I've been making guac and fries. Half a tablespoon of oil. So we're supposed to place these upside down and brush the top with the sauce we made.
everybody's. It's ready. All right, baby, here you go. How's it look? Uh, if my memory serves me right, it looks exactly like... It's supposed to? Yeah. I didn't have no sauce or jalapenos, or you could taste it for what it is. Mm. All right, it looks good. Even though my stomach hurt, <laughs> my stomach hurts, you know. It smells good. Bite it already. Well, I'm just trying to admire what you did right here. I don't know where to buy it. What do you want me to buy it? Wherever. I don't know where to buy it. Did I do it again? Mm. <laughs> Did I do it again? <laughs> there is nothing I cannot make. <laughs> Damn. That's bad nostalgia. That's good. Good job, bro. Thank you. On a scale of one to ten. From what I remember. Mm -hmm. I got swords and soldiers. You take another bite. Wait, I forgot to give you something. Mm. That's a ten. It's a ten. Yeah, hell yeah. That's good. <laughs> this is damn good. Are you happy? Yeah, that's really good. Really? Mom. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yay! Mm. I did it, I did it. Is there anything I can't do? Just kidding, there's a lot I can't do, but cooking is one thing I can do, so. This is good. If you wanna make your husband love you forever, feed him some nostalgic food. Well, that wraps up this week's <clears throat> video. Another dub in the books. Y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, the 30th of this month will be the last day we have our P.O. box, so no more P.O. box after this. Y'all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys on next week's video. Bye. 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 <laughs> you have me. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. good. I'm going down there. <laughs> Let's see, boy. You're eating it all wrong. Bite. Take a bite right there. <laughs> Is it good? What do you think? Is it good or what? Yes. Okay, <laughs> Sissy. Ready? Ready. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Yay! My turn. I haven't even tried it yet. Well. Okay. I need napkins. It's good. That's really good. Messy but good. <laughs>